Wilkerson. Well, this is like a bonus Sunday for you because Tim Wilkerson happens to be sitting next to Mike Dunn right here, our most recent winner. Timmy, good morning to you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Obviously, we'd love to talk about that win, but we got to ask you about four wide racing. What are <laughs> what are your thoughts? Well, it's it's just a different ordeal. There's no doubt about it. Uh, I think there's some a little bit of problem staging up there for some of the pro stock cars. You've seen some of that going on, but uh, where they're having to rev their motors up, and boy, whenever whenever you have to rev your motor up in your stage, and one little glitch in the system throws you off because you're staring so hard at those lights you're trying to get the best reaction time you can but hey I, I'm enjoying it it's great for the fans it's a good novelty and uh, hopefully uh, we can do some winning today that's what we're here for you said novelty though <laughs> novelty it's a good novelty okay I just want to make sure I understood <laughs> I don't want to be too politically incorrect. Yeah. But yeah. We can't do that here, trust me. It's a great novelty. That's the way I feel about it. Yeah, I've gotten in trouble <laughs> with that before. But, hey, you know, you're coming off that great win in Gainesville, Thanks. and obviously you're probably a little bit more comfortable in that car. Has that helped you making the adjustment to four wide? And, and if so, what, what adjustments have you had to make? Well, basically, the, what I talked about earlier, just the staging process is really the biggest thing that I see Woo! as a problem, not anything else. The, uh, the cars... We got a good group of drivers, so you're really not having a big problem like that. You know, I made mention last night on TV that that uh, I thought Force probably about got timed out there because he was yeah. way close. I mean, I watched my video and I was off the clutch pedal for eight and a half seconds, so and we were he had to be real close to being timed out. So that's kind of that could happen today if you're not real careful. So I think you need to play your game and pay attention, and everybody just needs to stage their car, and we're going to be all right. We got a good group of drivers, and I'm excited to do that. I had heard Jimmy Proc talking, and it is kind of a crew chief battle out there. I don't pay much attention to drivers anyway. I race crew. Chiefs, so I guess we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Well, Tim, we had a big announcement from John Forrest. They announced that Ford will be back with John Forrest right. in the Boss 500. You, of course, having an alliance or, or not now with Bob Tasca. How does all of this affect you and your Ford? Well, it exactly, you, you hit the nail on the head. Uh, the alliance with Bob is uh, is still friendship, but uh, here's, how, here's how it works. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Next time you get to see me on camera, I am a Ford car. Um, there's no doubt about that. I've been assured by Ford Motor Company that I'm still part of the family, and that's what I care about. You're going to see us in the future probably buying some parts from John. He's uh, going to open that up to uh, the Ford teams. The and, Boss 500. Uh, Boss 500 Motors, uh, and uh, we're excited about that. My financial situation is I have to do what I can do as I can do it, and uh, we're going to we're going to go down that path probably later on in the year. But right now we're still running the same parts we had, and we're very excited to be in, involved with Ford, and we're very excited that uh, John's going to let us uh, be involved with his family down the road. Uh, no love lost by these fans, I know that though. No, no, you know, I mean. It, Hey, we appreciate the fans, really. Um, you know, they know that I'm a I'm a one-car team, and, and I've always been a one-car team. And even when Bob and I were aligned, we had different parts all the whole time. We were it was a technical alliance, and uh, I I think that, that we did a lot for each other's team. And uh, he's he's looking for the future a little bit there with Ford Motor Company, and and uh, being involved with John is going to help his car more, and hopefully the end of the year we can talk about points and i'm still going to look like i knew what i was doing i hope i hope i don't fall <laughs> off the bus there you know what i mean absolutely stand by here with us timmy because the other big Thank story you. in funny car you've seen the highlights already matt hagan and that big blower wow, uh, that explosion he had yesterday yeah. yeah scintillating stuff right now gary gerald's down to update that story yes indeed and uh, we stand alongside matt hagan and I, I think we're all curious you know about 20 hours after that tremendous blow up and explosion how are you feeling physically i tell you i'm a little tender this morning uh you know wrists are sore trying to keep it off of dale there but uh, wheel whipping around pretty good but you know it, it's one of those things that uh, it, these cars are so fast and so violent you uh, it happens before you know it you're just along for the ride after that your guys did an amazing job getting another body and the car repaired so that you could go out and run in that fourth and final session how important in your mind to kind of get back in the saddle get back on the horse yeah I tell you it was huge because you know you don't want to go in the first round you know thinking what happens if this and that and make sure everything's right so to be able to go out there and run a solid 11 yesterday was was really big for my confidence, for the guys' confidence, and for Tommy to go up there and look at everything and make sure it's right. So that, that was big for us, and we're going to get this diehard car back out there and hopefully get it in the winner's circle this weekend. Man, glad you're all right. Wish yeah, you well. Too. Thank, Thank you so much. Guys. All right, Tim Wilkerson, are you ready for the hard-hitting fan question? Yeah, ready. We got Orville Perilli along with his wife, Jenny, who are here. They're from Texas, and they got a great question for you, Tim. Fire away. 
Hey, Tim, how crazy is it for you to go down the track with racers on both sides of you? That's well, a, that's a great question. You no, got to be in lanes two and three to do that. I, I think you're right, and you've seen kind of what the, a problem that could happen there with the four wide there. You had Jeff Deal and uh, and Matt Hagen both had a problem at the same time out there, and you're thinking as a race car driver that that could always happen to you, but you really the percussion of all that is unbelievable. You really can't explain that to a fan. It, you hit the gas in that thing, and you got them on both sides, and it is really loud and really. The, the intensity of it is unbelievable, but we're, uh, you've seen what happened out there. It's kind of a kind of a weird deal going on with this place. The air is weird. I've talked yeah. to a lot of people about their, the problems they're having tuning their cars, and it's so cool outside that you may see some more things like that today. I hope not, but the, it's a great question. Thank you very much for the question, and I think the fans, are uh, they're feeling it up there in their stands. You hit the gas with that. What is it? 32,000 horsepower, yeah. is that what we're saying? Well, it feels like it when you're in the car, believe me. Thank you very much, Jim Wilkerson. Have a great, safe race day as you race Ron Caps, Jeff Deal, and Melanie Troxel in round number one. Let's